And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at a game called Kites, Time to Fly. This is a cooperative speed game about kites. I think the idea of kites, wonderful theme. I love the idea of flying kites. I like to watch people fly kites. I am, in particular, a bit of a Charlie Brown when it comes to flying kites, but hey, it's still a neat concept. So this is about flipping timers as fast as you can. I'll show you. This game has these different timers here in various colors. You have the white timer, which is kind of a main timer here, which is a 60 second timer. You have a 30 second red timer, a 45 second orange timer, um, a 60 second yellow timer, a 75 second blue timer, and a 90 second purple timer. You also have a deck that's full of various cards that match these timers. The cards are one color, or two color cards. So you're gonna shuffle these cards. You're gonna hand out a certain amount to each player. Let's say you're playing a four player game. Everybody would get four cards and the rest go in a pile. To start the game, you start the white timer going. And then, at that point, everyone's allowed to look at their hands of cards. And starting with one person, you take a turn and you're just gonna play a card face up in front of you and then draw a card. When you play a card, let's say I play this one, the red and blue, I'll start the red and blue timers. Let's say the next person plays the orange and blue. They're going to start the orange timer and they must flip the blue timer, which seems like a really bad idea. So on my turn, I might flip the blue timer and start the purple timer. Many of the cards have a single color on them, which means you can flip that timer. Or when there's a single color, you can flip the white timer. That's the entirety of the game. You're just going to keep doing that till you get through the whole deck and play all the cards. However, once you go through the deck and there's no more cards left, at that point, you can no longer flip the white timer. If any timer goes off at any point, you lose. Um, other than that, you're trying to, you can get a score. The rule book has kind of a little score sheet of, you know, how many cards are left total and it will tell you how well you've done. Do you think that's too easy? Well, there's a bunch of other cards you can add in. A storm. When you draw this, you warn everyone and say a storm is coming. On your next turn, you have to play this, and this requires you to flip every single timer in the game, which could be for bad or for good. You also have cross lines. You can't tell people when you get this one, but when you play it, everyone has to pass cards to the right and left. An airplane. Again, you don't tell anyone when you get it, but when you play it, until your next turn, until you cover it up with another card, nobody can talk. And that's the entirety of the game. One of the interesting things about the game is, unless I, I played this game several times before I knew that the timers had different times. It tells you here in the list of components, and I don't know how I never noticed that. But I will say I went through and counted the icons. So for example, red is 30 seconds, and purple is the 90 second one. And there is uh, more than double the number of red tokens in the deck than there is purple, which makes sense. It's going to flip over more often. You'll notice each timer has a symbol on it. So when you're playing, you don't have to worry about colors. You can just match symbols if you want to. Card quality is, well, it's okay at best, which is unfortunate because these cards are going to get thrown around and beat up a lot. I don't mind the art. I think the art looks great. I like the theme of kites. The timers seem to be good quality, which is a big deal in a game like this. I just wish the cards were slightly nicer. This is definitely one of those times where from watching this review, you automatically know if you're going to like the game or not. I mean, if you like the idea of flipping timers and keeping track of which timers are flipped and speed and yelling and shouting, flip the blue timer, flip the blue timer. That's what this game is all about. And there's not... We talked about it after like the third or fourth game. People were saying, okay, what if we don't pick up one of the timers as long as possible? But you you have to. I mean, you can talk about strategy and, you know, of course, obviously you want to let a timer go as far as it can before you flip it. But it's just flipping timers. Now, the base game is not particularly difficult once you know what you're doing. You can beat it. You add in those cards and there's like, I think, four or five or of each a card. And you can add in as many of those cards as you want. You add in a ton of those, you're going to lose. Those cards definitely make things more confusing. The airplane's probably the most innocuous since you can't talk, so everyone just quick plays cards. 
But there's a lot of talking and yelling in this game, so it's problematic. The cross lines, you, you spend so much time passing these cards when that happens, and it just confuses everyone, and it's really easy for a timer to run out. And the storm could be good if you play it at the right time to flip all the timers, and then there's arguments over what order you flip all the timers in. Uh... I don't know. I just say it's a fun game. Now, I want to be really clear. I've actually played this several times in a row, but I feel like this is a bite sized potato chip type game in the sense of, hey, let's play kites. You play it, it's 20 minutes, you're done, you move to the next game. Then a couple weeks later, you're like, hey, this is a fun one to play while we're warming up, a warm up style game. And in that case, I like it a lot. I wouldn't want to keep playing it over and over again, but. Playing it to start everyone up, to warm everything up, because you will be yelling and moving pieces and all that stuff. It works in that situation. Um, and again, I also know that there's a decent amount of people who, as soon as you saw this, you're like, it's not for me. Because it isn't for everybody. But I think for kids, for families, for people who want yeah, a bit of a high energy game, Kites is going to work. So, time to fly. I'm Tom Vassell. We'll see you next time. Dice Tower Judgment approved. <laughs>